Hello and welcome back to Around the Block. Today we're at the Career and Tech Center of Frederick County covering a policy controversy that has some students and staff very concerned. Stay tuned. We'll be right back. Once again, welcome to Around the Block. My name is Levi Trumbull, and this is the show where we cover key events that happen around the Frederick County area and more. Many of you have seen the Frederick News Post front page story about a week ago entitled, Students in Two Frederick County Schools Claim Dress Code Promotes Shame Among Girls. Well, that story was written after enforcement of dress code guidelines were put into place at several of FCPS schools, causing controversy between students and staff. So we stopped by the Career Tech Center in Frederick, Maryland today to see what students really thought about the matter. Roll footage. So my first buddy I'm here with today, can I get your name real quick? Andrew. My name's Kayla. Nathaniel Stepney. Gabby. I'm Rachel. William Neves. I'm Catherine. I'm Chrissy. I'm Demetrius. So it is a very good day here at Around the Block. We actually just found our buddy from the first episode, Eric. Eric, what's going on, man? I'm doing good. Um, everything seems perfect. So have you ever been dress coded before? No, I haven't. No, I have not. Never. Only in church, I believe. <laughs> yes, I have when I was in elementary school. Yes, I have, actually. <laughs> really? Tell me about it. So I was walking, like, to my class one time and, like, going and sitting down. And, like, one of the teachers stopped by and was, like, pulled me aside. She's like, your shorts are too short. But my shorts weren't actually too short. They were actually nice length. Have you ever been dress coded? Um, yeah, actually, a few times I have. It, it's nothing. Tell me about it. Nothing serious, mm -hmm. but like my shoulders were too much, so I had to put a jacket on, you know. So, have you ever been dress coded? Yes, multiple times. Tell me about those instances. Well, a lot of them were just for shirts and whatnot, but I've also had occasions of me wearing the same shirt as another student, mm -hmm. but because they are skinnier and have less of a female form, I guess you could say, they didn't get dress coded compared to me. Have you ever been dress coded? Um, in middle school, yeah, I wore pajama pants to school and they made me change. Really? <laughs> yeah. And you? I've never, because my mom works for the school system, so she would be like, hey, you can't wear that. What is your opinion of a dress code? I think, like, it's good um, sometimes, but other times it's just ridiculous. Uh, I think it can be helpful, but sometimes it's just ridiculous. Uh, I think it's to prevent bullying from, like, people who have, like, different types of clothing that can't afford it and stuff like that. Some clothing, I think it's ridiculous that... They really dress code people on because it's not that much. It's okay, showing a little bit of shoulders. So what? How is this sexual to all the guys? I mean, I think it's a good thing to have within reason, but mm -hmm. I think lately it's been going a little too far. Really, I feel dress codes are really for teachers and staff, so they feel comfortable, not really for students. Mm -hmm. It's all right, I guess. I mean... I don't really mind anything by it. Um, I think it's stupid because <laughs> what's wrong with a little shoulder, am I right? <laughs> anything to add? I completely agree. Just a little bit of shoulder. It's not like the guy's going to be like, dude, whoa. And now I'm here with one of the staff members. Mrs. Jacob. I work in the guidance area here at CTC. Very nice. So tell me a little bit about what the dress code is and explain its importance. Well, dress code is a basically a code of conduct for our students on how they should come to school without uh, pushing the limits. Do you think, at the end of the day, FCPS just tries to protect their students? Uh, that, I guess that's a little bit debatable. Um, honestly, though, I, I do feel like what I said before, it's, they're just trying, they're trying to protect their staff members. Mm, yeah, I mean... Dress code does lead to less bullying. At the end of the day, yes, but I think the way they do it is uh, overkill. 
Yeah, I think so. But, like, sometimes it gets way off. Yes, but I feel like sometimes they go a bit overboard. Uh, yeah. And what about yourself? Um, I think that they think that they're, like, protecting the students, but really no one cares, like, if you show your thigh or your shoulder. And what types of clothing do you believe push the limits? Very short, very tight, very low. And what do you think of the situation uh, at Urbana Middle where a group of teenage girls wore the shirt uh, with I am more than just a distraction written across it? I think that was pretty cool, actually, because, like, I got dress coded here. You can see it on my shirt. Like, what they did there was, like, pretty cool, man. I think it's a good idea. It's a way for uh, the school to let them know that the dress code can be just irrational sometimes. I think it's good because as girls, you get targeted more um, for what you wear than the guys do. I agree with that statement a bit because a lot of people say the reason that they are dress coding is so that the male students do not get distracted. Power to them. I saw that and I was like, yes, girl, wear those shirts. I thought that was good. First off, I agree with their um, protest and I agree with what they're saying. I also believe that it's their American right to protest something they don't believe in. Do you feel that the dress code has caught too much attention around the county? No, actually, I think it's a good topic of discussion. Um, Urbana seems to be in the spotlight right now. Uh, there are rumors about Urbana High School as well, mm -hmm. maybe being a little stricter than they have been in the past. So, um, you know, everybody's entitled to their opinions, and I like to see constructive feedback, if you will. It could be just the new administration trying to just structure the place and, you know, whip the place back into shape. But, you know, we don't really know. Have you ever purchased clothes that you thought, maybe I can't wear this because of a dress code? Uh, I haven't personally. No. Yes. Yes, I have. I so have. What in particular? Like shirts and shorts. Definitely. Okay. No. No, okay. Oh, yeah, I have a, like half of my wardrobe I can't wear at school. How would you handle a situation in where you were asked to change outfits because what you were wearing was thought to be a dress code violation? Well, I'll follow the rules so we won't have any problems. I wouldn't feel very great about that. I'd be like, too bad I'm already wearing it. I'll change it tomorrow. I'd be like, look, why do I have to change? And then I wouldn't change. Even if I personally don't agree with it, I kind of have to, or else they're going to, like, take me out of school, and I'd, my education is more important than covering up. As a student, is there any message you wish you could get across to an FCPS board member? Uh, sometimes it's just too much what you do. Uh, I really think that these girls are trying to make a difference for themselves and just start something for people. Uh, there is such thing as over-censorship. Just chill out with the dress code. It's hot out sometimes. Um, I would want to tell them that, like, since the dress code is mostly targeted towards girls, like, to just stop. Is there anything else that students or staff should know about the subject? Follow the guidelines, because it will keep everybody out of trouble. <laughs> So today, for the most part, we saw students give their opinion professionally about a debatable subject that's on a lot of people's minds right now. And in closing, it's important to remember that we live in a society where we can express those opinions freely. And that'll be all for today's episode, and we hope that you will join us the next time we go Around the Block.